Time now for another installment of Trucking Around the Queue, where we look at the news in the QMJHL from the past seven days or so. And of course, COVID-19 is dominating all conversations these days, but we have some good news on that front. The city of Moncton moving out of the orange zone in New Brunswick and moving into the yellow zone, which is less restrictive. And of course, that means the Moncton Wildcats are able to play tonight. They had played their first three of scheduled six games, missed the last three, but they are back in action this evening. The news not as good in the province of Quebec. Unfortunately, the city of Shawinigan going into a red zone, adding to the list of teams that were already there, along with uh, Victoriaville, Drummondville, Gatineau, Blainville, Boisbriand. The Sherbrooke Phoenix, of course, not in a red zone, but they did have a positive test earlier this year. However, the players that were not positive returned to practice on Wednesday. So there were 12 players at practice. The eight players who tested positive, although most of them are not suffering serious symptoms, have not yet been cleared to return to practice. There has been a positive COVID-19 test in the Drummondville Voltageur lineup. So just backtracking here as to what happened. This outbreak started with Blainville and Sherbrooke, and then the Q eventually suspended play in all of its Quebec based teams but they all continued to practice except for Blainville and Sherbrooke well Drummondville cannot practice because of this positive COVID test all the players and staff must be isolated some non-COVID-19 news the Victoriaville Teague have surrendered a player on their protected list and that is Nathan Morin who they drafted this year with the last pick in the first round 19th overall he has committed to Harvard University so the Teague got cutting bait on that pick and what that means is they will pick in the same spot in the 2021 draft this is actually something that Victoriaville did last year as they picked Yohan Richard in the 2019 draft he didn't report. They surrendered the pick and picked Pierre-Olivier Waugh at seventh overall this year. And Pierre-Olivier Waugh is playing in Victoriaville. And uh, we heard Matthew Vachon talking about him last week. He apparently has been very good for the Teague. So, again, Victoriaville will pick 19th overall. And the reason a 19th overall pick was in the first round was because of compensation picks because, obviously, there's only 18 teams in the QMJHL this year. Nathan Moran, as I said, will move on to Harvard. He had 40 points in 41 games last year with Levi in the Quebec Mid Triple A League. News out of Halifax, we've been talking about on the broadcast, William Robitaille has been added to the Halifax Mooseheads lineup. We're going to hear a bit more about him from uh, Scott McIntosh during tomorrow's broadcast. He had uh, 32 points in 35 games last year with Levi, where he was teammates with Nathan Moran. He was picked in round seven at 2019 and was going to play junior triple A before getting the call to Halifax. He'll fill the roster spot of Samuel Dubé, uh, who parted ways with the Mooseheads last week. Robitaille is eligible to play on November 6th because, of course, coming from the province of Quebec, he has to do the two-week quarantine. Of course, the bigger story out of Halifax this week, Justin Barron returning to the Mooseheads lineup. He had 19 points in 34 games last year before suffering a blood clot injury. He's in his 19-year-old campaign, and he was just picked in the first round, 25th overall by the Colorado Avalanche. Taking a look at the team of the week in the QMJHL for last week's activities. Felix Antoine Marcotti of the Acadie Bathurst T10 is there. He had six points in two games, and he was the player of the week. Another 20-year-old forward from Bathurst, Matthew Degonier, also on the list. He had five points in two games. And a player we'll see tonight, Marcus Vinicek of the Halifax Mooseheads, had three points in two games. The 16-year-old is the third forward on the team of the week. The two defensemen on the team of the week, Adam McCormick of the Acadie Bathurst T10, the former Eagle, had two points and was plus three. He is one of the defensemen. The other defenseman is 18-year-old Charlie DeRoche of the St. John Sea Dogs, who had two assists and was plus three in one game of action. The goaltender of the week is 20-year-old Colt Nellis of the Charlottetown Islanders. He had a record of 1-0, a goals against average of zero and a save percentage of 1,000 of course and no disrespect to the fine performances of those players but the team of the week stats looking a little bit funny because there are obviously less players to choose from but congratulations to those players nonetheless that is your look around at the QMJHL you're listening to the pregame show McDonald Ottawa Cape Breton Eagles Hockey 1270 CJCB